welcome back to another vlog so today i have decided just a daily vlog because i do have quite a busy week this week it is a lovely day today and i am going to leave in the house for a change so i thought that i would actually just kind of vlog and take you along with me for the day um i've been working this morning i am super super tired but i've slapped a bit of makeup on it made myself look more alive to be honest but oh my god it's so bright outside also outfit of the day today i am actually wearing my dior hoodie from dh gate as i'm filming this vlog today yeah the dh gate haul is actually going up so please make sure to go and watch that on my channel because it is always my most highly requested video on my channel you guys absolutely love them so yeah and i'm also wearing my lulu uh, lemon leggings as well which actually matches with this outfit so it's a win-win but basically i am just kind of chilling yeah, this morning was working um i am happy to be home i am going to go into primark later on because they have some new releases and i will be bringing you I will be bringing you guys along with me because who doesn't a little bit of Primark and I also need to put some money in the bank which is very exciting um, and I'm also waiting on Royal Mail parcels but I don't know if it's actually going to arrive today but I did have the most exciting parcel arrive from a JV Coffee so I will be testing them out today I am not usually a massive fan of coffee but I am hopefully going to change that today, so look how cool the little ball is. But yeah, so I'm going to take you all to the kitchen and I'm going to test it out for you guys. I am super, super, super excited. As I have been up early this morning, I am starting to feel really tired because I have been awake for eight hours and I really need something to keep me going. So I am actually going to be using this JV Coffee Concentrate. It's micro dose coffee concentrate and it's the Arabica artistan roasted i am really hoping i am saying this right the first thing what you have to do is obviously select your favorite the mug and this is one of my favorites because it's like has an a on it for alice and it's also like a really good size okay, one two two uh, teaspoons of uh, the concentrate and mix it with the water or milk and i am using hot water just because if with milk sometimes it can give me a really bad to me you know so i'm gonna put the kettle on I'm going to fill it up. Right, so kettle is all boiled. So, I am going to be very careful, obviously, because hot water is very dangerous. So, please make sure to be very careful. So, I'm probably just going to uh, fill this up uh, slightly over halfway. Just because I do have to allow space for the coffee to be put in. So this is how much I've... Well, I won't be able to show you guys. Otherwise, I'm going to spin it. Now, this beautiful bottle of JV coffee. It has 30 servings in this whole bottle, which... I think it's really good because if you think you can go through the, the kind of coffee granules in the same time this is a lot smaller but like obviously it's in a liquid form you can also make your coffees if it's hot or cold i was kind of thinking making an iced coffee but i'd rather go for hot because it will warm me up more they also come with the two gold reusable straws which i think is really good it's like a normal straight one and like an angled one and they are really cool so, I have to get a little teaspoon. I have smelled this and oh my god, it smells so good. Oh my god, it, it, it smells so strong but so nice. So here is the mug here and I have both the straws here. I apologise if you can hear the washing machine as well. It has to be on, doesn't it? But yes, I've got my lovely mug, I've got my teaspoon, I have got the coffee which I'm going to use now. And what I am going to do is I'm just going to put a little tea wow a, a little teaspoon and pour this in. I can't see how this is for now because obviously like I'll take for it to be too strong. But oh my god, this bottle is so cool! Like it's like a glass bottle as well. I'm glass bottle so it's quite exciting. Also, please comment down below if you guys are a coffee lover or a coffee care. But personally, I'm in the middle about coffee, and I am hoping. I'll be like this and show you what I think. <laughs> I'm really excited but really nervous. Because it does actually smell really nice. I'm going to put some milk in this because I feel as if I prefer it with milk. Taste to this. I'm really nervous, really excited because, as I said before, obviously, I'm, I'm really not a coffee drinker. Mm -hmm. 
but you know what? It actually tastes a bit chocolatey and I don't mind that. Taste quality wise, if you were a real coffee fanatic, this is honestly amazing and this is why I wanted to work a bit of JV coffee for this reason to kind of build up my kind of coffee kind of tasting skills to like it more and I think I am on a slow and steady road on to potentially liking coffee. I've had a lot worse tasting coffee so this is actually really good and you definitely with milking as well. I do really like how it is a liquid form because you can kind of control more how much you put in um, and obviously caffeine is good for keeping you awake and if I have all of this now I will honestly love this. I will be putting my discount code on the screen for you guys and you can shop a JV coffee. You can basically customise your coffee as well so that you can have like different flavours like caramel, vanilla, all sorts of different flavours so if you're maybe not keen on the kind of full coffee taste you can have like other flavours, obviously make out of iced coffee as well, that's another option as well for you guys. More so like in the summertime when people prefer cool drinks, this is honestly ideal but I will definitely have to look on their website as well and have a look and see if I can order the caramel flavour because I absolutely love caramel. I will be leaving a link to their website down below so make sure to shop them and thank you very much JV Coffee for gifting me these items, honestly so, so super happy and I am now going to Enjoy this coffee before I leave the house we have to go to the shop and use this straw as well because I do prefer drinking out of the straw. Right, so I'm just getting ready to go out. I have to change my outfit because it's absolutely scorched outside. I'm also going to the bank as well. Some money in, so I've got the money there. Oh yeah, I'm also going to be taking out my new bag as well, which is from COE Bags. I think it'll always be up like the video, but a large black Chanel boy bag and oh my god, I am so excited to wear it today because I haven't actually wore it out yet so I'm really happy to wear that. Um, the, the weather is, how hot is it because I'll have to, have to plan like my outfits around uh, the weather and stuff. It's actually 18 degrees in Carlisle. Oh yeah, uh, uh, please excuse the, the lovely cracks on my phone screen. It is the second time I have cracked my phone. I really wanted to get to town before like all of the school kids finished because like, there's nothing worse than like going into Primark and like all the shops when like, all the school kids are around. Um, so I think I'm going to set off in like five minutes. It'll be half one. So hopefully by the time I'm I'm back home, it'll be school finishing time. But yeah, my dad's actually in town at the moment going like to HMV because he sells records for me, but actually from fact. Um, and like he goes into HMV to basically buy them and sell them for more money because that's a good little money making scheme for him. But yeah. Oh my god, what to wear, what to wear, I don't know what to wear. Anybody else have this daily struggle of not having a clue of what to wear? So, yeah, on the daily that is. Oh yeah, I'm actually have a look in TK Maxx as well, because TK Maxx is one of my favourite shops again at, at the moment. And oh my god, they have this gorgeous lilac juice that you set. Only thing was, the hoodie was in a, a medium, so... I was good. I, I was good. I was. Yeah. I don't know what to wear, but yeah. I'm gonna take you all into town and hopefully vlog some bits in Primark if I'm not too awkward. But like, you know what I'm like sometimes. I do get a bit awkward. Look how cute all this stuff is. Like, this is very in trend at the moment. All of this kind of gingham stuff. I actually have this bodysuit. It's so nice. That is so cute. That is so nice. It's so cute as well. Of my size. In fact, I was tall enough to pull these off. Look how nice that is. And those ones as well. I love this school so much, but I don't know. Look my size. Way too long. I'm just trying this up, this is way too big. The size four as well. But like I'm just too short for it. I'm getting these PJ shorts. They're very cute. Yeah, the smallest was they're small, but like it's not in PJs because they're oversized and that. And then 
Look at this little top, but I'm definitely not going to get this because it is way too big, but it's so cute. Soil. <laughs> right, I'm back home, guys. So basically, I tried to vlog in Primark and Oh my god, it was super awkward. Like, I try my best, but people just kind of staring at me. I really do kind of find it a bit daunting kind of vlogging in my kind of hometown because firstly, I know a lot of people and a lot of people are really judgy. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so that's the main reason why I never really vlogged a lot. However, I did end up meeting my dad in town because like he was already in town um, and like he was looking like an HMV for records. We actually met up and went for like a drink at like this new try place. I've been to Park in Carlisle, had a drink there and I get it's really nice in there. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to give you all a haul. So I do have a new outfit on and oh my god, I'm so happy. I might have vlogged this actually, but I got this like this lovely top from Primark. It was £11. It's like this orange gingham a top and the gingham clothing is really in fashion at the moment. Especially in Primark and this was like you know, the last size 6 as well. I actually also got these kind of creamy whitey flared uh, jeans as well um they're really nice but i'll show them like on the back camera so here it is but this top is actually so gorgeous size six and these were actually in the clearance for eight pounds can you believe that let's have a look oh why is the tr oh there we go yeah how good is that and this outfit is actually really good the good thing about CK Maxx is for me especially, I am very short and petite. A lot of like the fled kind of trousers and jeans always end up in the sale and these actually fit in really well. A lovely colour will go with anything. I'm very happy with that and this top is honestly so gorgeous. It is very similar to like my kind of black and white legging one from Primark. £11 is slightly more pricey but I mean if you compare it to being in like Zara, this will probably be a double or maybe triple that so I'm oh, very happy with this outfit and these jeans are by the brand. Um, I don't even know. The Ritz, I think. But yeah, I'm very happy with them. And then, I'll also show you what I got. So, I also got another item from TK Maxx. And this is something I have wanted, especially in this colour, for a long time. If you know me, I do have a slight obsession with Juicy Couture clothing. And I actually saw these. The last time I went to CK Maxx, maybe like Sunday, I think, maybe. I got some lilac juicy joggers. They look kind of more blue on here, but honestly, they are more purple in real life. And these are £29.99, so more expensive. But I do have a juicy hoodie, and they yeah, always stay like in really good condition. I feel like you wash them. And these are an extra small because I remember buying a size small and they were slightly too big, but these only just fit me, but I love them. So super comfortable, and these are actually like they're the cuffed ones, because I did try on like some flared ones next to small, and they were way, way, way too long. But yeah, but these ones are really nice, and I think for the price, are lovely. They did have a lot of hoodies in there, but like they were all like size mediums, but they had a royal blue lilac, they had like, like the creamy one, but they didn't have any extra smalls, but they're probably a blessing in disguise, actually. And then the Primark. I got these really cute uh, short bottoms. I was actually looking for you know, the PJ top in this colour, but like, they only had like you know, they only had black, grey, and white enough colours. But these were three pounds. A size small, like they were sold out in extra small. But these usually fit me anyway. And plus, you know, for bedtime, be all right. A lovely hot pink colour. And then finally, I absolutely love the Primark gym sets at the moment, but here, this little top and extra small, and then I have these cycling shorts, and these remind me of the Bone Tea sets for like a fraction of the price, which is really good. So yeah, but I will try everything else on, but I like, have seen this outfit now, and i obsessed with it. Here are the juicy joggers on, extra small, a very good fit, They're slightly oversized, but very, very, very comfortable, so I can wear these in the house, out the house, and... I won't get judged for wearing them. So next, the find is going to have to be the matching hoodie because, like, imagine having like the full set. How cute would that be? But yeah. So I'll be on the lookout in TK Maxx. I've decided not to wear a strapless brow with this top, only because you know, the strapless brow is kind of peeping through. But this top, I am obsessed with it. 
how am I going to try on these two? Which well, these look like, but these sets are the best. They literally are the best. And then here is the Primark set. Honestly, fits me like a glove. So super comfortable, and these are both in an extra small, three fifty for each kind of thing. And these are not see through as well. So these will be coming in my favourites video because honestly, these are the best things ever to wear. Like honestly, obsessed with them. I have a tea. Honestly, I am so so full because basically, me and my sister both had um, some fried chicken steaks, uh, smoked paprika wedges. You know, that dad made very nice and veg and gravy and then my parents had like salmon and, and wedges and stuff and veg. But yeah, I'm very full and I, ha I also had a chocolate trifle for tea. Well, not tea, uh, a pudding. <laughs> so that was very nice. But yes, I am getting goosebumps because I'm actually really cold and I'm also drinking a glass of water because I am trying to kind of drink more water. This is a girl who had a kind of Pepsi Max early on but oh well it's fine and coffee and another fizzy drink in town but we don't really talk about that i just find drinking water so satisfying like i really do yeah but update on scott's like shop um it actually hasn't been as busy as he was hoping it to be but hopefully he'll be able to sell a few more bits and bobs fingers crossed but yeah but i think he's been a bit underwhelmed i think he's still got like 78 pieces left and that's Obviously still good because I think he sold 180 odd, which is obviously is really good. He sold over more than half, which is like a really good achievement. Uh, but I think he's going to like uh, kind of discount them at like a certain price now. But anyway, yeah. Enough of me rambling about that. I am actually going to be ending this little vlog here because as I said, it was like a little daily vlog today. So if you guys have enjoyed this little daily vlog and you guys would like me to do more, of these please make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below and also subscribe and i will see you all in my next video bye everyone